Hi there, my name's Rick, I'm 34 years old, and I'm from Manchester in the United Kingdom. I'm a swimming teacher by trade, and I just wanted to take a few moments today to join in and give my perspective on what's going on in the world right now. Uh, before I do, just wanted to thank Anna for doing this and giving the opportunity to people to air their views and remind people that not everybody out there is buying into what's going on and there are a lot of people questioning it and it makes my heart sing to see people out here on this platform speaking the truth as they see it. So I've been questioning things in the world for about two decades now. My process began um, on September the 11th, 2001. On that fateful day, as those towers fell, I knew there was more to it than what was being shown to us on the screen. Something inside me just said that things were wrong. And since that moment, I've made a point of listening to that little voice inside me, that little alarm bell that goes off um, when a lot of these incidents happen. And that led me down a very deep and winding rabbit hole, which I don't have time to really go into today. I wanna to try and keep this video nice and concise. So I'm going to give a very quick breakdown of what I see happening in the world right now. Um, and I hope that you guys find this information useful and I hope you find it inspiring and I hope maybe that you can use it to fill some gaps in your own knowledge or maybe just give you some other things to think about. I'm not going to claim that I know everything about what's going on right now, but I have taken an awful lot of time to do research and it seems very clear to me from simply looking at the way the financial system works and who is at the top of those that financial system that there's a very, very small number of people in this world, small group of families who have incredible influence in political spheres and in the media um, and in educational institutions. They have got their claws deep into our society on many, many levels from influencing the way our education happens to influencing the way the financial system works to crashing and booming economies as they see fit to whatever serves their purpose. And what we are seeing now is just the latest attempt for these people to co-opt, either create or otherwise repurpose world events in order to serve their own agendas. And their own agenda is quite simple. They want to keep us under control. They want to keep us doing what they want us to do. They want to keep us believing that we are not powerful, that we require being governed and that we are stupid, okay? They've done this by numerous methods, but right now, what is happening, I believe, is that there is a virus. That virus is otherwise fairly benign. However, a situation has been created which has meant that those most at risk from this virus, it is not, you know, not everybody is going to be safe from it, like any flu coronavirus, because most flu viruses are coronaviruses, cold viruses are coronaviruses. Any coronavirus is more likely to affect people with existing conditions, people in a bad state of mental health, and people with reduced immunity. Government policy, as we have seen it in this country, has removed those essential services for those people in need, those people most at risk. It has cancelled their treatments, and it has removed and isolated them from their loved ones. Couple that with the media generating fear and anybody's susceptibility to this is going to be increased massively. And those most at risk are going to be put in even greater danger. I believe that this was done deliberately. I believe that this was planned, not necessarily by our government, but by entities above our government which manipulate them through money and bribery. And I think the evidence for this can be found in Operation Lockstep, something previously mentioned by another one of these videos. Please go and check that out, Operation Lockstep. Um, and if you look as well at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, look at the money that has been invested. Don't be uh, confused with this word donated that he likes to throw around. This man has been investing money in various entities which are now 
lo and behold, supporting his mandate of a universal vaccine for everybody. Okay? He's paid off universities. He's paid off the World Health Organization. He has paid off drug companies. And his influence is so deeply involved in this that it is hard to imagine why people are taking this man's word as gospel. Anyway, a deeper and more concerning thing for me personally, because I will refuse his vaccine, I don't trust the man as far as I can throw him, but a more disturbing agenda that seems to be playing out right now is the tiptoe towards a totalitarian state. And this is something I've been witnessing again for the last 20 years, a slow removal of civil liberties and public freedoms. They've done this by harnessing terror events, by, I believe, orchestrating terror events. Um, if Anna is interested in talking to me about um, my opinions and my ideas around that, I'll be quite happy to do another video later today, but focusing on the coronavirus for now. It is being used to take us towards fascism. I've recently had to refuse to return to one of the venues at which I work because I will not go along with the normalisation of fascist policy which is being pushed right around now. Um, I believe in self-sovereignty of the human being and I believe I should not have medical procedures forced upon me and medicine forced upon me if it is not of my own volition. Therefore, I've been refusing to wear a mask I will not frequent anywhere that wishes to track or trace me, and I certainly will not be going into any establishment that insists on taking my temperature. These things, while fairly benign in themselves, are the tiptoe steps towards something far more terrifying. If they can mandate that they can take your temperature, they can mandate that they check if you've been vaccinated or not. They can mandate all sorts of more disturbing things and I think that is the biggest danger that we face right now. We've got to remember as human beings we are powerful. The foundations of the pyramid are the most important part and those of us down here at the bottom of this imagined pyramid we are the ones really with the power not the people above us and I believe they are truly scared of what is coming. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. Um, please keep putting your videos out there. Love you all very much and uh, stay free.